Let's say you want to set up a ratcheting patch, but you don't have a clock multiplier divider that has a voltage controlled input. Instead, it just has multiple outputs, one for each different multiplication or division. In that case, you're going to need another module called a switch, either a voltage controlled switch or a sequential switch to choose between those different outputs from your clock source. Now in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use a voltage controlled switch because I think it's the more flexible solution. I'm also going to happen to use a clock multiplier. In the next movie, I'll show using a clock divider and also using a sequential switch. It's a bit trickier to set up, that's why I'm saving that for last. But let's have fun with this patch first. Once again, I'm using the autocontroller as my main tempo source. I'm taking this clock out, splitting it to drive my sequencer, and also to be the trigger for my envelope generators. I need to pull this and instead trigger my envelope generators from different switch selections of different clock divisions. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and take that master clock and plug in my clock in on my clock multiplier. So it's being driven by my main clock. Now in this case, I need to take different divisions and send it to different inputs on the switches. That way I can choose between different outputs from my clock divider or multiplier. So let's go ahead and patch that up. I'm going to set this down to input one for now. It so happens that the LATIC S210, the switch that I'm using, also goes to a zero position, which means nothing gets passed on to the envelope generators. But I'll put that back up to one. Patch the output from my first clock, which happens to be just multiplier divide by one. And there's our sequence again. Everything's normal. Now I am using a four millisecond quad clock distributor, so I can set up four different divisions if I want to, or in this case, multiplications. I'm going to choose another output and set that to two times my original clock. Choose another output, set that to three times my original clock. Then the final output, set that to four times so I can get 30 second notes. And you can kind of see from the LEDs the different tempo that they're being clocked at. Now I need to choose between these different inputs. It so happens that the LATIC, as well as many switches, has a control in the front so I can choose different outputs. There's my double. I'm going to slow down this clock so you can hear what it sounds like. Choose the third input so I get my triplets. Choose my fourth output so I can get those 30 second notes. And again, the LATIC allows me to go down to zero. So nothing gets passed along to my envelope generators, which are being triggered by this cord here. Let's go back up to one. Now we want to take that as our main pulse, but then jump up to different outputs for the notes that we want to ratchet or trill. So in this case, I'm going to need to take a voltage row from my sequencer and have it go to the voltage controlled input of my switch to switch in between those different inputs. Here's my output for my second row. I have everything set to zero right now. I'm going to plug that into the voltage controlled input on the switch. And since they're all set to zero volts, they're choosing the basically the zero input so you don't hear anything. I'm going to turn this attenuator up all the way and start turning these up to a nominal value. So I can start to get just my normal one division. There we go. And speed this up a little bit. Now, to switch to the second input, which has the double speed clock, I just need to increase the voltage on one of these steps. Let's do another one down here too. So it's just enough voltage to select the second input on my switch. Let's go a little higher and select triplets. A little higher than that. back down to two times. So it's nice having that second row to choose for each stage how many trills or ratchets you're getting for each step of the sequence. It's also great for live perform to really have fun. 